I have a couple questions about courses because that is like the major path I'm on. I'm going to spend all Labor Day weekend recording. So before I get too far down this path, um, I've been teaching webinars, social media for healthcare. So um, could be uh, very broad based, but the courses I'm developing are going to be for um, physicians and small healthcare practices. People who know they need to be doing social have patients or customers talking about them, but they can't afford an agency, yaddy yaddy. So it's social media training, but it also has an appreciation of HIPAA, privacy laws, some of the things you can and can't do in the healthcare space. So having done predominantly hour long webinars, um, and I have done a course LinkedIn for healthcare to kind of test the waters of doing a lot of smaller pieces. Um, have you got any uh, advice on how you would take big content and then break it down? Is there an ideal length, three minutes, five minutes, seven, eight, ten, you know, for these pieces as you build your modules? That's a good question. Do you, you want me to start or you want to take that? You're up. Oh, go ahead. So, so I was going to say like on Udemy, it's like what, three to 15 minutes is what they have specific requirements. And I personally would say that the shorter amount of time, the better. So I think that for me, as far as like learning, and even when it comes to books, now they're talking about shorter books are kind of the end thing. So I personally would say the, the shorter your lectures are, the better off you are, but somebody else might have a different answer. Yeah, and on, on that topic, Janet, I would say um, we have to be very objective based. So think of this broad range of courses that you can produce and then chop them up into objectives that medical professionals would want to learn. Um, I don't know what that object, what those objectives are, but maybe one of them, what might be, you know, the proper setup of a Facebook page for medical professionals. And then another one would be proper setup of a Twitter page for medical professionals and so on. So that way, you're hitting them with an objective of that one topic that they need to get, they need to check that box on, on their list, you know, and you're not overwhelming them with too much because obviously medical professionals are very busy. They don't have a lot of time. Uh, even their assistants probably don't have much time. So I would say just niche it down to specific objectives. And I think that's the type of languaging that Udemy uses too, is what is the objective of this course? And as we're seeing, at least right now, the way the Udemy framework is right now, they're doing a lot of discounting of courses and it doesn't really make sense right now to build out big giant, you know, 10 hour, 15 hour courses. It makes more sense to do one, two, three hour courses. I'm feeling like the sweet spot is somewhere between two and three hours of total content, not, not all video, but if you add in a PowerPoint. Uh, so if you do that kind of thing, you've got about a two hour and a half, two, two and a half hour course, that's about the right sweet spot for Udemy. Uh, anything above that and you're wasting kind of your own resources and anything below that and it doesn't it doesn't look to Udemy as a quality course. Udemy has guidelines as to what they consider quality course and part of that from what I've seen across 30 courses and across my studying, like I've been studying this stuff voraciously, uh, is they want to see a certain length and I think that length is about two hours uh, of the courses that I, that I see ranking well and doing well and selling well, they're at least two hours long and about two to three hours as this. Yeah, spot. length is not the problem. I, I mean, I've got hours and hours of content. Now I'm afraid I've created the super course, which price wise might not be <laughs> scary to them, but content wise, it may be more than they can manage. So I'm thinking now I need to take, say, my platform modules and each one of them be a little course and maybe there's a combo that they can buy. 